So the original study we, do, we did with tea cream, um, what we did is we had four groupings. We had a placebo, the tea cream by itself, uh, caffeine by itself, and then a tea cream caffeine combination. All right, so the two of them were put together to equal the doses in the other two conditions. Uh, so we were dealing with 275 milligrams um, of each by themselves and then 275 milligrams put together. So I believe it was 150 and 125. Um, anyway, what we did is we were working with soccer players at the division one level and professional. So these are pretty high level players. And what we did is we developed a 90 minute protocol that was basically a game simulation on the treadmill. So we went back to data on high level players and looked at the time spent in different speed zones, the percentage of the game that was done doing that. And we came up with a protocol and then used our own GPS data from our female athletes to scale that for the females in the study. So it was interesting because then what we did, is we brought them in, we dosed them with whatever that condition was. So it was a totally within subjects design. Then what we did is we did their warm up, and then at halftime and end of game, all right, so we kept the same 15 minute halftime. We brought them in right at the end of that 90 minutes, so end of game. We brought them into our reaction time room and we had them do three different tasks. One was a simple reaction time, light goes, you go. All right, so it's hand movement. The second one was choice reaction time. So what it was, it was a red or green light, but it was conflicting. So in other words, you went on red, you stayed on green. Okay, so now it was a go, no go. And then the last thing that we did was what we call the cognitive reaction time, where it's that choice reaction time, green, red, but at the same time, you also had to solve a problem. So there's a little screen on it that comes up and it basically gives you a math problem or a word that you'd have to read out loud or solve the math problem. And what we'd do is you'd then have to say that and respond at the same time. We'd let them finish the rest at halftime or at the end of the game. After these tests, what we did is at the very end of the game then to simulate added time, an overtime scenario, we'd then bring them right back in on the treadmill, put them at 85% of their VO2 max and run to exhaustion. So how long can you go? So for our study design for the first t cream and soccer protocol, we had uh, two big questions that we wanted to ask. The, based on the previous research with caffeine, we wanted to see how either the placebo, all caffeine, all t cream or the combination affects these athletes in both a cognitive sense and cognitive performance and the physical performance sense. So what's interesting is when you add tea cream to the caffeine, to what we already know caffeine does so well, is you get that tail end, the effect where you normally would see a drop off in performance, either neuromotor, neurocognitive or physical performance benefits from caffeine. You can pick up that tail when you combine tea cream with caffeine. The key findings really were the combination condition. They seemed to show the most benefit uh, and more of a synergistic effect between the two. Overall, in the runtime to exhaustion, we saw the most benefit in that with a 38% improvement compared to placebo. Uh, when you're talking, you know, in a soccer game and overtime, that 38% can mean, you know, winning or losing. 